Hey Cancer, this is your weekly reading for January 17th through the 23rd. Let's go ahead and jump in and see what message Spirit has for you. Look, the cards say opportunity already in that you guys are a spiritual warrior here. Okay, Cancer, I see you. Give me the cards here for Cancer, please. I'm going to jump right into your reading here, you guys. Message to have here for Cancer Spirit. Okay, Cancer, I want to remind you guys that this is a general reading. All of the messages may not resonate with you. If this message does not resonate with you, you can check out your other moon rising in venus sign in the description box and the january playlist okay let's see what your overall energy is there's overall energy here for cancer please i feel like i gotta shuffle that again for some reason let's go in again here for For some reason, I just heard here, Cancer, that you're walking towards greener pastures. Okay. Walking towards greener pastures. Not saying anything is wrong right now. Okay. Some of you guys are maybe choosing to leave a painful situation because you feel empty in that connection. But you're moving toward forcefully too. Not forcefully. But with a lot of energy, I see you guys doing this. I want you to have two cards right there. Especially with the King of Rods. That's how you're showing up. Look, no games. That's how you guys are right now. Ooh, two cards right there too. Oh, who hurt you guys? Mm. It's not going to last. <laughs> Don't make me start tripping out in y'all reading. Look at this. What is going on, Cancer? We'll get into that in a minute. Let's take a look at your reading. Look at this shit. I'm sorry. Excuse me. It says release the past. Some of you guys are like, I already did that. I already did that, Diane. But it's still on your mind because it's crowning you right here. So obviously you didn't release it all the way. So releasing the past does not mean that we forget. And some of you guys haven't forgot. you like, fuck them. Huh. Sorry about cursing, but I'm there. Your cards are taking me there. Releasing the past does not mean that we forget, nor does it mean that if something bad happens that this was okay. It means that we have made a personal choice to no longer allow our history to dictate and shape our lives. Hence why you have this five of wands and this devil card in the past here, okay? To dictate our dictate and shape our life both now or or in our present time and in the future here. So you guys have already worked. You're pushing through, pushing through, okay? But some energy is still with you here. Yeah, they're saying go slow, okay? Take take time to get to know each other here. This may be someone new here, but the past is, is kind of fudging up things. I'm saying this, near future, that's you and someone else, okay? They're not holding that cup by themselves. There's someone else there. It's your counterpart here it's your soulmate here okay some of you guys are single but someone else uh may be coming in towards you that you need to go slow with here um definitely that's what i'm saying some of you guys may meet this person through mutual friends here and um you, they may set you up for a date that's what i heard here with someone go slow with this person okay this new person entering into your life and actually go out on the date get out there okay if you want to meet someone if you want to spend time with there's someone here so give yourself a chance to do that and no longer uh hold grudges or hold um any regret from past relationships know that they helped you grow into this new beautiful vibrant person that you are right now with this beautiful masculine energy from this king of wands 
here okay i see you you're strong you can do this you have dislike of others you got you guys sure in hell do not like whoever is in the past sometimes we form strongly negative feelings towards others in truth it is not them that we dislike but their words actions and behavior this card asks you to try to detach from the experience of their behavior and see them as a soul that's how you're going to get rid of this energy here okay because it's definitely time to move on from this ten of swords that is crowning you that's why it's at the top and what's crowning you is still on your mind you're like oh i hate you hate is a strong word okay i know you finished with the drama but that energy that vibration that feeling is still there okay so this card asks you to try to detach from the experience of their behavior and see them as a soul on their own unique pathway attempting to manage their own challenging life experiences here okay and they're saying time apart some distance will help bring clarity here even if you're not close to each other uh with this past person and you have separated yourself already get them off your social media that distance can help as well so you don't keep seeing the ass okay so these cards came in reverse here for some reason. But we turn them upright here because I don't read upside down like this. Do you? I don't either. Not with these Oracle cards. But I told you someone's coming in. For some of you guys, this is actually your twin flame. Maybe you thought that the person that you left in the past was a twin flame, but they may have been a false twin flame. This is your real twin flame that is coming in towards you here. Okay, New love that I am seeing here in the future energy with the Ten of Cups. You're going to be uber happy, oozing love and sexual <laughs> energy together let's read your card new love the energy of new love is around you sometimes if we have been hurt within relationships we retreat afraid of being hurt again this card brings a clear and that is a important sentence right there we retreat of being hurt we retreat afraid of being hurt again and that i feel like you guys are doing that here okay this uh, Seven of Swords is in the position of what you need to focus on. You need to focus on why you still have that energy that you don't trust a damn person here, okay? Um, or you, you keep thinking about that person that you left in the past feeling like they got away with um, murder, okay? Got away with a lot of shady um, behavior, okay? And um, some of you guys were embarrassed by their actions, embarrassed by their words. You have still a lot of regret or you still have this on your mind here because we have the swords coming in, which is in indicating that something is still on your mind. Swords are all about your mind here, okay? Your intellect. So retreat. From that that energy here cleanse yourself from that energy depart from that energy block some people so you don't have to keep seeing them on social media and seeing what they're doing you know how you, facebook do they be bringing up memories and shit delete that okay this card brings a clear message and it is an indication of your readiness to embrace love okay and begin a new relationship it's safe to reach out here with this twin flame your card is saying this is a divine counterpart connection ow, ow. okay that's going to bring in a lot of love and happiness here you guys are going to be like two peas in a pot that's what i'm seeing here okay so forgive the past here that's what i feel like they're saying learn to say no um to even thoughts and memories here okay think you know bless your past the, the card in this deck says that bless your past here um acknowledge the emotion but then uh, find some way to redirect your focus on something that's more positive and think about the things that you truly want here okay so your card says learn to say no saying no is an act of love when we say a healthy no to an abusive situation, whether this is in response to another person or to ourselves, we are setting limits and establishing healthy boundaries. A healthy no is saying yes to, to life. Give permission to say give yourself permission to say no you also have the forgiveness card here so forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward they're laying it on thick for you here cancer okay let's take a look at your cards here so this is where you are this week you're manifesting this divine counterpart here this new love some of you guys don't even realize you're doing it but deep down inside you want love a lot i know a lot of people 
be in my comment section talking about I'm not thinking about love. Yes, yes you is. Yes you is. <laughs> I love you guys. But yeah, everybody wants love. But you want real love. You, you're going to get it very soon. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing here, Cancer. Um, in your cards. So some of you guys are manifesting this love. Uh, a lot of you guys are also focused on your own um, stability here. It may be your career that you are uh, really focused on here this week, but that does not mean that love is not going to move in. If it's meant to move in at this time, it will. Just don't ignore it, okay? By still thinking about the past, Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords here, okay? Protecting yourself to the point where people feel like they can't even approach you, all right? So, the King of Rods is coming in. So you're going to be very successful when it comes to possibly a new career or business, okay? You're either a, a fantastic, and I'm saying fantastic, Cancer, fantastic businessman or businesswoman. Uh, others see you as being very creative and very powerful here. Um, very creative, especially with the Magician card. You work your magic here, okay, in whatever field you're in. Some of you guys are hairdressers. You are um, very deep in finances or you have very good communication skills. You're very good with people. You, you are uh, a very good communicator, whatever you guys are doing, okay? You're a master of your craft here. That's what I feel they're saying. Okay, you also have the nine of wands that is crossing you. They're telling me that you are a master at your craft, but you don't let people in. Basically, that's what I'm feeling. That may be a challenge because others may see you and they're like, oh, look at that resting bitch face. I can't even approach them. But it's just, uh, I feel like you guys are protecting yourself. It's like a protection <laughs> mechanism here to keep that resting bitch face on here because you've had so much mistrust in the past here. Hence why we have the Tower and the Ten of Swords and the Five of uh, Wands and the Devil card here. But you, yeah, I understand you. I understand that you are protecting your energy because you're you're going for the the prize. I was gonna say you're going for the jugular. Some of you guys are. <laughs> okay. Nine of Wands though, you can't keep everybody out. You gotta have good healthy relationships and that's what you really want to focus on. You are very intuitive here, Cancer, so no one's gonna get something past you. All right. You have the full moon in Cancer that's coming up here on the 16th, uh, going into the 19th here. The full moon and cancer promise you here. It promises that your intuition will show you the truth no matter what the facts may appear to say. And that goes towards this new love as well. You'll know if this person is full of fluff, okay? But I don't feel like they will be here, okay? Um, you, I did this already. So we're going to go past this energy here and take a look at the past energy here with the five of wands and the and the devil card and i don't have much to say because it kind of speaks for itself here with the five of wands it may have been a lot of conflict or stress with a past uh, situation a past lover here that you had to detach from no matter how long ago that was it may have been very toxic for some of you guys some of you guys may have been dealing with a false twin flame here could have been dealing with a aries leo sagittarius or a capricorn that's what i'm saying here but that is past energy here okay let's focus on this new energy here with the ten of cups in the near future because you have so many beautiful things moving in towards you a lot of happiness and stability here both financially and romantically that is moving into your life and i want you to become very excited about this time here um about the new possibilities that may be coming in towards you um, and you're strong enough to face any challenges that you may be having uh, internally or emotionally here okay I know that you don't play any games here so I feel like whoever this divine counterpart is it is time for this person to move in because the divine energy spirit sees that you are ready for this love you learned the lessons you've worked on yourself obviously you have the king of rods here showing up as yourself in the magician card they feel like you can handle uh, a relationship at this time as well as keep a professional relationship and business as well you can balance both here okay you're a pure 
alchemist and you work your magic here but you got to get that mind straight here with this ten of swords no longer live in fear of someone um taking advantage of you here or no longer fear change here um and relate release any uh mental you mentally restraining yourself to open up towards new possibilities okay that's what I'm seeing here. And I feel like it has a lot to do with love since we have the Ten of Cups here. Cups come into your reading when it indicates uh, love or personal relationship here uh, that may be moving into your life. Okay, so Cancers. Um, you guys have the four of swords here that I feel like for some reason holding this is that they're telling you that it's time to wake up wake up everybody all right <laughs> four of swords coming in here they're saying this is the end of a stressful situation for you guys okay and no longer uh will you feel mentally exhausted here um time to move on here what you don't see is the knight of wands energy that's showing up for you guys um you're gonna have i feel a very seductive relationship that's coming in so prepare yourself here okay like i said this person um is a twin flame could be a is a divine counterpart here is new love for you here but they come in real hot and heavy could be a fire sign for some of you guys uh or a water sign that's what i'm seeing as well um but they're gonna come in very uh hot and heavy <laughs> that's what i'm seeing here you guys may hold back like very unsure whether or not you want to even let this person into your life because your focus is on these pinnacles here um and that's good uh, it's good to want financial security and financial gain and and remain in a position of power uh and hold that power here okay but you have to let other people in you don't have to do a damn thing but i would encourage you to explore your options here okay cancer that's what i am uh saying okay explore your options and don't miss out on opportunities here so what's going on with this tower card in this three of uh cups here Ooh, something's gonna come to light okay that's what i'm saying here something's coming to light with this let's clarify this three of cups they're saying some about your friends careful now you may find out something about one of your friends see that's the eight of cups that we saw in the beginning of your reading that i was talking about here okay walking away letting go of someone here okay like you may see them very clearly a friend or someone that you thought that was your friend <laughs> here you may see they ask real clear because of this full moon in cancer here uh coming up on the 16th through the 19th here like i said uh your intuition will show you something about one of these people here it's going to be a wake-up call possibly a breakdown of a connection or a relationship here and you're going to walk away here okay uh from a situation or a person What uh, what other, uh, other messages do you have here for Cancer? King of Swords here, and the Chariot card that's coming in here. Are okay, you gonna find out some truth that makes you move very quickly away from someone or um, oh shit like one of your friends or someone that you know is going to be very aggressive towards you for some reason I'm, I'm feeling that energy here like you may have a real tiff or a verbal battle with someone um that you once called your friend that's uh that's the energy that they're giving me with that king of swords because the king of swords which is your energy uh here cancer uh you deliver words with action so when you say something you mean it and you're not gonna hold back that's what i'm feeling here uh with this energy okay and it really is going to wake up whoever um you're talking to or delivering that message to here is going to pop open their eyes and be like cancer is not playing and you may have um a relationship that dissolves here within your friends group okay 
All right, you guys can handle that though. Um, possibly spirit wants you to see something see something here that you weren't seeing before in someone and you'll see it very very clearly here whatever was being hidden okay that is your reading cancer i love you guys if you got a message out of this reading make sure you give this video a thumbs up hit that notification bell so you know when i upload for you again and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already you guys you could check out your other readings uh, other cancer readings at the end of this video just click on whatever uh, video pops up that you're interested in or you can cross watch uh, the January playlist in the description box or check out your moon rising and Venus signs in the description box in the January playlist I love you guys take care of yourself I'll see you guys in the next reading bye